It's a very common thing nowadays that people are getting packages stolen from their front porch or from other places on their own private property. It even happened to me one holiday season. Lesson learned. And a lot of times these are crimes of opportunity. They see a chance and they take it. But other times these people actually follow delivery trucks around and after they drop a package off at your house, they swoop in and grab it and take off. So I want to show you some ways that you can prevent and deter thieves from stealing your packages. We'll start off by looking at some of the ways that do cost money. But then we'll also look at several ways that cost nothing, that are free, and that are just some best practices that anyone can put into action to help prevent this from happening. One of the things you can do is install a video doorbell or some type of video surveillance system. There are several great brands out there of video doorbells. Ring, Nest, ADT. Video doorbells can do several things for you. If I'm not at home, it will alert me if someone comes on my property, if they come up to my door, and I can view the person and what's going on from my phone. It gives me a live feed from anywhere I'm at. I can talk to the person, I can tell them to get off my property, I can tell them I'm busy and can't come to the door, and it records all this so I can view it later. And if someone just came up to my porch and stole a package, I would see that too. And hopefully I would see their face or have some way to identify them and tell the police. If somebody sees you have a doorbell like this or a camera set up, they're not really going to want to come on your property. It's more likely they'll avoid stealing from you. And if you don't want to spend your money on a full-fledged video surveillance system, buy a dummy camera, put it up in a corner or two around your property, and put up signs that say that they're under 24-hour surveillance. And this could be a very inexpensive way to save you from an expensive loss. Signs and dummy cameras are a deterrent. You can rent a P.O. box at your local post office and have your packages directed there. Your packages will be held there securely until you want to pick them up. Or you can also rent a personal mailbox from such places as a UPS store, Mail, or other services. And they can assign you a physical address so you can have packages from all the carriers sent to the same place. Packages from the Postal Service, UPS, FedEx, DHL, whoever, can all be sent to that personal mailbox. If you're going to be gone for a few days and you're expecting packages to arrive through the U.S. Postal Service, you can put your mail on hold. You can do that in person at the post office or you can also go on USPS.com. You can hold mail from three days to 30 days in a row. But the minimum hold, which is important to remember, is three days. If you put your mail on hold, you won't get any mail for three days. But this can keep packages from being delivered to your porch and make those packages a possible target for thieves. You can also contact the Postal Service, UPS, FedEx, and other delivery services and ask them to place your packages in a specific location on your property other than the front porch, a place where you feel they'll be safer. That could be on a back porch, behind a planter, whatever you request. As do other services, UPS allows you to make specific requests for a certain package. If you're not home when that first delivery attempt is made, they will hold the shipment for pickup, deliver to another address, reschedule delivery, or return to sender. And remember when you're ordering from online sites, that you can have your packages sent to any address you want them to go to. If you're typically not at home when delivery services bring your packages and you don't want them sitting out all day, check with a friend, a neighbor, a relative, or even where you work and see if it's okay with them if you have your packages sent there. Don't even have it sent to your home. If you order from a major retailer and they have a store near you, instead of having it shipped to you, use their option to have it shipped to the store for you to pick it up if that's available. Sign up for any email or text alerts that are available to you from the major carriers or from any retailers that you buy from. That way you'll be notified when the package is shipped, what day it's likely to arrive, if delivery was attempted, and if delivery was made. And that'll help you be better able to get your package off your porch as soon as it arrives. If you're an Amazon Prime member and you're getting ready to check out, 
Look on the checkout page for something called free Amazon Day Delivery. This allows you to pick the day of the week that you want your packages delivered. You can choose any day of the week except for Sunday. You can pick up to two days of the week actually. Like you could pick a Tuesday and a Thursday. Or if you really just want one day, you could pick like a Friday. So for instance, if you picked Friday, then Amazon won't deliver any of your packages until that Friday. But on that Friday, you'll get them all. And the free Amazon delivery day can help you be prepared for when your packages are going to come. You know they're going to be there on Friday, so hopefully you can make arrangements to pick them up off the front of your porch as soon as possible. Amazon also has these locations in some cities that are called Amazon Hub Lockers. So if you don't want to have it sent to your house, to your business, to a friend or relative's house, you can have it sent to an Amazon Hub Locker location if there's one near you. They'll email you a unique six-digit code and you can go to the lockers and there's a touch screen, you enter your code and that will unlock your specific locker. And I hope some of these tips will help some of you stop your packages from being stolen. Thanks for watching. Bye.